pre-draft opportunities, whether it's here or whether it was at school? Yeah. What are you hoping to get or to show, I guess? Yeah. Uh, so I didn't get invited to the combine, but so basically my pro day was the time I got to showcase my athletic ability. And, you know, some teams put more weight on those drills than others. And, they, you know, they, every team has my tape. They like my tape, but the, the pro day experience was a way to come and, you know, show my, show my athletic ability, how it stacks up against everyone else. And I did, you know, relatively well at my pro day. And then today is a good, good opportunity for the team to, you know, get to know you more as a player and how you get coached. Because, um, you know, 40 or a pro agility drill doesn't tell you how well you're coached as a football player. So today that's kind of what I was going in. You know, focusing on is when a coach says something to me, I'm going to try to take that that coaching point and then display it in the drill that we're doing. How's this whole process been for you, and how much do you feel like you've been able to sort of gauge teams' interest in this? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I'm not like a first or second round guy. I know that. Um, so it's, you know, you, you're you not told that a team is going to draft you super high in this process. But I, I have a, I signed with a really great agency. Um, and so my agents are doing a lot of the communication and they let me know, you know, teams will be honest. They'll say, hey, we're not going to draft them, but we like them as a PFA. And so I think right now most teams have me as a PFA. Um, but, you know, some people have said late round potential possibly. Uh, but there's so many moving parts on draft day, right? So you have a certain number of running backs that you might want to take. Your top four go off the board. You get to the sixth, seventh round, you know, fourth round, fifth round, whatever it is. Um, and you might make that selection that you didn't think you were going to make. So there's a lot of moving parts. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm going to have the opportunity to play. I'm going to be on, I'm going to be in camp in August. And that's all I care about. And so I'm going to get my opportunity um, to play football as long as I can. You, yeah. you expect some, some nerves then sitting in front of the TV on day three of the draft a little bit as those later rounds come in? I'm probably just going to be hanging out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Y'all have my phone on and my agents will have their phones. So, uh at the end, yeah, like if, if I don't get picked up, then it's going to be really busy right after the draft. So um, it'd be nice if a team selected me. And, um, but whatever happens, I'll be, I'll be happy with the opportunity that we get. Are there some advantages in priority free agency yeah. in that you can kind of find a spot where you have a real yeah. opportunity? You yeah. can kind of take a look at depth charts you and your can, agents can do that? Yeah, you can you know, choose what is the best opportunity for mm-hmm. you. If you're, you know, if you're lucky, you have multiple teams wanting to sign you as a yeah. PFA. Um, and then... There's a couple other advantages, but I'd say that's probably the main one. Either way, whether I get drafted or PFA, yeah. again, it's just you still have to show up because a lot of guys get drafted and they don't play. Right. A lot of guys don't get drafted and they end up playing. So it's all about what you do when you show up.